France. In our past episode, we've reviewed the easiest, the most difficult, the most popular languages in the world. For this episode, our team has collected information about five languages that have been artificially invented to be used in books, movies and shows. Artificially created languages have a name, conlangs, from constructed languages. These artificial languages are not um, always being created to make world uh, communication easier like Esperanto was. Sometimes writers have invented them for their books and some directors hired specialists uh, to develop languages for their characters and worlds. The Elvish language John Ronald Ruel Tolkien. This constructed language was created by the writer for his fantasy work, particularly the Legendarium of Middle Earth. The term Elvish refers to several different languages spoken by the elves in Tolkien's mythical universe. Tolkien developed the two main Elvish languages, Quenya and Sindarin. Quenya is described as the language of high elves, while Sindarin is considered the language language of elves of Beleriand. Both languages have complex grammar and a vocabulary influenced by real languages such as Finnish, Welsh and Old English. Quenya has a melodic and archaic sound with a more rigid grammatical structure, reminding that of the ancient and classical languages. Quenya was the language of the High Elves and was often used in official situations or in songs and poetry. It has a large vocabulary and a rich system of affixes for word formation. Sindarin, on the other hand, is considered a more natural and a developing language reflecting the changes that had occurred as um, elves had migrated and adapted to different uh, regions. It has a softer and more colloquial sound compared to Quenya. Sindarin had been widespread in Middle-earth and uh, became the language of elves in the Third Age. Tolkien created detailed grammatical rules, uh, pronunciation guides and um, writing systems for both Quenya and Sindarin. He even created the language's uh, evolution history with different stages and dialects, similar to how real-world languages develop over time. Elvish languages have become popular outside of uh, Tolkien's books. Many fans and enthusiasts have expanded and uh, developed uh, the languages um, even further, creating dictionaries, grammars and even colloquial phrases. Although Elvish languages are fictional, they've strongly influenced the fantasy genre and have inspired the creation of other constructed uh, languages in literature, movies and games. The Dothraki language, David Joshua Peterson, Game of Thrones. The show producers had uh, David uh, create a full-blown language of the Dothraki culture, with vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation and the cultural context. He created the language from scratch, drawn inspiration from the descriptions of the book's author George Martin, Dothraki culture and lifestyle. Dothraki language has a um, unique and distinct guttural um, deep uh, sound and peculiar phonetic patterns. It has a relatively simple grammar compared to natural languages where the subject plus verb plus object word order. This language lacks a verb tenses but has a strong emphasis on grammatical mood. Dothraki vocabulary is concentrated around things relevant to their culture horses, war and um, surviving in arid conditions. Peterson developed this lexicon to reflect Dothraki nomadic lifestyle and their pragmatic needs. And since the language had appeared in the Game of Thrones uh, series, it gained significant popularity among the fans of the show. Peterson has even published a guide on the language containing lessons, dictionary and explanation of a grammar for further study and understanding of the language. <laughs> The Klingon language, Mark Okran's Star Trek. This is a constructed language created by the linguist Mark Okran for the Star Trek franchise. 
the language spoken by a fictional alien race called the Klingons, known for their warrior culture and appearances in various Star Trek TV series, movies and novels. Unlike uh, many other languages uh, created for the screen, Klingon has a detailed uh, grammar, syntax and vocabulary, and a regulatory body. Yes, the Klingon Language Institute. It publishes translations of classic literature to Klingon language. Klingon vocabularies mainly revolves around military terminology, notions of honor and battle reflecting the Klingon culture as portrayed in the Star Trek universe. Come on, pull! Jontenaer! What's up? Gah! The vocabulary is growing constantly, now counting thousands of words on a wide range of topics. In the past year, said the language has gained a lot of loyal fans among its enthusiasts and students. To teach and popularize uh, the Klingon language, uh, language courses, dictionaries and institutions have been created. Communities and gatherings also exist where people can practice uh, speaking abilities of Klingon. Oh, Navi, Paul from a Avatar. Navi is a constructed language created by linguist Paul Frommer for the 2009's Avatar created by James Cameron. It is spoken by the Navi alien race, a native to the fictional planet Pandora. Paul Frommer created uh, the language to give uh, authenticity and depth to the culture and aid immersion in the film. He developed it in a way to be completely functional, way to express oneself and communicate, augmented with the grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation and cultural context. Navi is known for its uh, harmonious and melodic sound, inspired by fanatics of real languages, such as Polynesian, Indonesian and several Native American American languages. It has a relatively simple grammar with a subject plus object plus verb word order. Navi's vocabulary is big and reflects uh, their life's uh, closeness to the nature and their um, deep spiritual beliefs. <laughs> Frommer created words describing various aspects of Navi's life, of flora, fauna, the elements and cultural practices. Of course, after the film's success, the Navi language became popular among the fans and resources were developed for studying the language. Frommer had even published special learning materials, his Navi grammar guide, to give um, everyone a detailed elaboration on the language structure. In addition to the movie, the Navi language was used in the Avatar theme park and to the different media which were related to the Avatar franchise. After the film, Froma continued to develop the language, expanding vocabulary and adding expressions for the increasing demand of uh, the growing universe. <laughs> The divine language, Luke Basson, the fifth element. This language was also developed for the movie and plays a significant role in the story. In the movie, the language is portrayed as a mysterious ancient and possessing great power. It is spoken by an alien girl named Lilu, who is um, supposed to be the fifth element, the key to saving humanity from great evil. <laughs> The divine language in the fifth element has a smooth and melodic uh, sound. It is uh, portrayed as a complex language with a mixture of uh, guttural, rhythmical and harmonious elements. The language was created by Luke Basson and Mila Jovovich, uh, the latter playing Lilu together with linguists. The divine language in the movie has its own uh, grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation. Lilu uses it to communicate and to manifest her extraordinary powers throughout the story. This language was developed to evoke a sense of mysteriousness, beauty and otherworldliness. Besson and Jovovich were practicing the language by writing to each other in it and by the end of filming they could talk freely in it. The language includes around 400 words, uh, it's partially based on the pronunciation and grammar of French and Arabic. 
And tell me if you've、um, ever had an experience of communicating in some other invented languages. Perhaps you play video games、uh, where such、um, languages are used.、Uh, please write in the comments if you know some other constructed languages、so、from movies. Games or books, also right, and we'll then make another video on the subject. Don't forget to visit our website maps.com, where you can choose yourself a school abroad and、um, learn any real uninvented, although they are all invented, aren't they? The point is, you can learn any language in any part of the world. See you in the next videos.